Welcome to Storytime with Miss LaPerry. Today's story is Zero the Hero, written and illustrated by Joan Hollop and Tom Lichheld. Unlike most numbers, Zero believed himself to be a hero. He just needed a chance to prove it. Hey, who's that in the mask? And what's up with those pointy boots? And this cape? Call, from now on, call me Zero the Hero. Call you what? Now I've heard everything. But Zero's belief in himself didn't count for much when it came to fitting in. One little, two little, three little. Poor Zero. He's always getting left out of our games. Well, tough niggies. He's not a counting number, so he can't play. Get a move on, will ya, number six? I can't go until you do. I can hardly wait till I get to sing eight little. True, you really can't count a zero number of anything. In order to amount to anything, Zero had to stand in the shadow of others more glamorous than he was. Yes, it's true, I'm number one, the number everyone wants to be. I take first place in every contest. I'm the number line leader. Oh, and when my pal Zero tags along, I become a ten. That's equal to ten ones, of course, not ten zeros. <sighs> Occasionally, he was mistaken for various circular objects, seemingly at random. Some days, it really got to him. Aren't you a Fruit Loop? I love those! No, I'm Zero the Hero. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Are you a donut? No! I've got it. You're the letter O! No! How many times do I have to tell you? Six. When it came to addition, he was virtually invisible. Other numbers seemed to pass right through him, almost like magic. Still the one. Oh, this is getting embarrassing. Yes, me first for once. No matter what order we go in, the results are the same. I got nothing. Okay, let me take a wild guess here. The sum of me and you is going to be me. That's pretty much a sure thing. Am I right? Well, yeah. The same thing happened with subtraction. In their frustration, some numbers were unkind. How come I'm called a difference if I don't look any different? Yoo-hoo, me again. You are so zilch. What are you good for? Hey. Anyway, I figure it. Me take away nothing equals me, right? Am I right? Am I? I hope I have better luck on the next page. Turns out, Zero stunk even more at division. So badly. In fact, that other number simply refused to be divided by him at all. Sorry, I can't be divided by nothing. What would be the point? Oh, come on. What if I let you be the divisor instead? Still, his belief in his wonderfulness persisted. Then one day during multiplication, it was discovered that any number times zero equals, you guessed it, zero. I apologize 100% for what I'm about to do to you. It's nothing personal. Here I am, another product of zero times anything. I shall return. Hey, where's everybody going? Run for your lives! Good thing I've got nine of them! Don't go near the times tables if zero's around, or you'll be toast, burnt toast! Fearing extinction, the others ran from him. Who could blame them? As the others scurried away, Zero had a horrible realization. A real superhero wouldn't multiply his friends into nothingness. That's the kind of stuff only an evil villain would do. Could it be that he wasn't a hero at all? The thought gave Zero a hollow feeling inside. His confidence shaken, he tucked himself tight and rolled away, heading for infinity or oblivion, whichever came first. The counting numbers didn't even notice Zero was gone. As you can see, I've got these five apples. 
and I've got two bananas here, and I've got three oranges. I think we know how much fruit we have all together. That is, until they encountered unexpected story problems. Yes, but without Zero, I won't be able to solve this problem. He needs to stand here to help me make ten. To take their minds off their problems, they try playing a game of round off. But this proved impossible without Zero. This is no fun. Yeah, without Zero, we can't round down to ten. And we can't round up to thirty. Go figure. Say, I've been wondering, is that a tutu you're wearing? We feel so odd without Zero around. He was such a sweet nothing. Okay, so he wasn't totally worthless. The day I met him, I was one lucky seven. He made me feel like I was on cloud nine. No question. The counting numbers were missing their friend. I miss Zero twice as much as anyone else. Two, four, six, eight. Who did we not appreciate? I know I teased him, but it feels like there's a hole in my heart now that he's gone. We miss Zero even more. After all, he was one of us. In fact, they were so busy missing him that they didn't notice they were being surrounded. You know, I never told Zero, but I'm often mistaken for the letter S. Some confuse me with the letter Z. <sighs> As in zero. If I stand too still, I can be mistaken for a pickle. If I take a nap, I'm mistaken for a lowercase m or a w. Depends on which side I lie on. Snowman. Before the numbers knew it, they had been captured by Roman soldiers. In the name of the emperor, we are taking you prisoner. Hey, aren't you the letter X? No, we are not letters. We are Roman numerals. We don't really like fighting. Instead, maybe we could teach you how to do math using ones, tens, and hundreds places. Roman numerals don't do math. We just count. Hey, aren't you the letter V? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine were tossed into the gladiator ring. Gladiator ring? No way! I know a clock when I see one. Looks like our days are numbered. Despair, yes, but it's really not all that dark. The Roman soldiers were counting the minutes until they'd attack. It was a time of darkness and despair. So it takes four of you to do my job? From far away, Zero heard his pals call for help. This is a job for Zero the hero, he thought. Faster than a speeding donut, Zero zoomed to the rescue. Look up in the air! It's a flying bagel! Hey, my missing chariot wheel! A giant cheerio, maybe? Shh! Over, in pursuit of the flying donut. Release the numbers or else, Zero told the Romans. Or else what? The Romans replied. Or else I will unleash a force greater than you can imagine. The power of nothing. Go ahead, said the Romans. We're not afraid of nothing. Left no choice, Zero grabbed a nearby rock and proceeded to demonstrate his amazing power. Here goes nothing. Ta-da! When the Roman numerals saw the rock disappear, they decided to disappear too. They ran away as fast as they could. Run for your life! He's going to do a number on us. Let's skedaddle. Yeah, before Zero unleashes his power on us. Don't trip on your togas, guys. Zero rocks. All hail Zero the hero, shouted the counting numbers. Thank you for saving us. My hero, Zero is great. You were wonderful. For he's a jolly good fellow. High five, three cheers. On second thought, that mask is pretty spiffy. And those boots are growing on me. With his friends around him once more, and the knowledge that he had fought evil and won, Zero no longer felt empty inside. Now that hollow nothingness inside him was filled with something. And that something was... Joy. The 
end. Thanks for reading along with me today. Remember to subscribe below to hear more stories. Have the best day and remember to keep reading.